Good afternoon, continuing Simon Dewey Days. This is St. Helens against Wigan at Langtree Park, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Have a reasonable record at Langtree Park. First visit was a loss, but since then I've been unbeatable. Let's hope for another one. Come on, Wigan. First trip is to Oddle for the bus to St. Helens. Okay, we've arrived in Oddle, so next is waiting for the bus to St. Helens. Just like last week with the double connection. Not easy to get to some of these rugby games, but Langtree Park. See you there. Okay, so that's leg two complete. That's St. Helens Central. So if you're an away fan and you're not taking the bus, this is where you're getting off. St. Helens Central Rail Station. About 15 minutes walk, so let's go to the stadium. Part of the walk to the stadium includes crossing the Steve Prescott Memorial Bridge, which on night matches, it looks very cuddly and colourful, sorry. Looks really good. Just before the stadium, you've also got a Tesco. So for any pre post match recessions, just stop for a minute. Wonderful tribute to Steve Prescott. Okay, here we are at Langtree Park, home of St. Helens. If you're an away fan, this is where you'll be going in, the East Entry. Which is these terraces, so you're going to be standing up all afternoon. So, 3 o'clock kickoff, St. Helens Wigan, so called friendly. More news from the stadium. On the terraces now, St. Helens coming out to warm up to a very rapturous applause. This is the view you get if you're in the away terrace. It's not as high as at Wigan, but, you know, not as big a stadium. So, St. Helens players are warming up. And here come the Wigan Warriors coming out to warm up to a very rapturous applause from the away fans, myself included. Very strong team named by Wigan today, including my fave Ryan Amsher at back. Uh, full back, sorry. They're supposed to be a friendly this, but you know, there is going to be some trouble champ wise. It's always going to happen. So, both sets of players out warming up, just over 25 minutes till kickoff. Both sides have named very strong squads with it being a friendly, but season only starts in two weeks. Wigan against Widnes on the Thursday night. Hopefully that will be my first official away day Super League, but we'll soon see. Players warming up. As far as entertainment for the stadium, you've got your pre-match, which is your cheerleaders. The only young ones. Only have the St. Angels, I think, is what they're called. 20 minutes till kick-off. Wigan players leaving the field, just over 7 minutes till kick-off. Looks like there's a few clouds gathering, so we could have a bit of rain here. But you never know. Well, St. Helens players leaving the field. Uh, it just looks like, I don't know where it's my eyesight, but it might be a bit of rain coming down here. There we go, Wigan and St. Helens take to the field. We're going to now first. It's not zoomed in because it's on YouTube, so. We're going to near away strip, of course. Got to wait for the home side now. St. Helens will come out eventually, you would think. Hopefully, sometime. St. Helens, obviously in the Wigan end there's going to be a lot of booing I apologise for any language in the video like you know not very kid friendly this game is it to be honest but both sides out in the field kick off in a matter of minutes St. Helens daily in the corner there good tackle from Wigan St. Helens take the lead with a game try Makinson stepping up to kick this Let's hope he misses. <laughs> Kick is successful, St. Helens leads 6-0. Just over 10 minutes played. St. 
St. Helens score again. Bad offload by Hampshire. Adam Swift in the corner. So let's see if he'll make it 12. This is a trust line conversion. Not the best start to the game for Wigan. A lot of errors, just like last week, to be honest. Target. So it's 10 0 to St. Helens. More mistakes by Wigan. Vey gets his first try, I think. I don't know if he scored last week. Wigan's going to try and make it. 16 0 coming up to half time. Wigan, let's be honest, have to forget. Too many errors. Hampshire just does not look settled at fullback, which is a shame. Has to be better in the second half, though. This, this is just terrible from Wigan. Too many errors, too many penalties. So, up his steps to see if he can convey for the second time. Which he does. Two minutes to half time. St. Helens 16, Wigan nil. St. Helens come out for the second half. Second after, let's be honest, they're going to need a hell of a lot of defence because surely we're going to, going to pull this back a bit. Well, there's going to be a lot of very upset Wigan fans, myself included, on the way home tonight. So, home side are out on the pitch and they will be playing towards their own fans. Here come Wigan for the second half. Second half there has to be a hell of a lot better. Wigan will be playing towards us in the away end, so hopefully that will inspire them. God knows what else is going to. 22-0 at half time. Biggest comeback I've seen Wigan do was a famous Bradford one, was it? I can't remember what year that was. was. Anyway, second half, kicking off. 22-0 St. Helens. A lovely move by Wigan. And Wigan are on the board. What a lovely move. I wish they got that on camera. Too busy writing the notes down. A lovely move. Anthony Gallen forward. John Bateman. First try for Wigan, on the board, come on. So, Matty Smith steps up to try and convert for Wigan. 22-4 at the moment. Kicking wasn't exactly very good last year, but let's hope it's better this year. So, up he steps. And he's successful, Wigan on the board. 22-6. Nice move from Wigan down the right. Closer. Has he give it? He has! Wigan has scored again. Number 31. Yes, number 31. It's not Liam, it's Connor. Connor Farrell scores for Wigan. Come on, Wigan. So, Smith steps up to convert for the second time. It'll leave Wigan 10 points behind with 20 minutes to go. It's not impossible this, you know. Kick needs to be good, though. He's kicked it. So that's two out of two for Smith. St. Helens 22, Wigan 12. Not again, lad. So close, so close to a second try, I think. Same time, scored again. Scored it unknown because it's too far for me to be able to tell that. But this looks like game over. Making sink convert 28 12. There's no way we're going to score in 16.8 minutes. So, that just lets to the countdown. Full time, Saint. So Wigan players come to greet the fans. Not the best day for Wigan, but can't help it when Saints play well. 
St. Helens 28, Wigan 12. We're going to move on to Workington next week. But that's a little too far for me to go to. So the next away days will be at Witness on the first night of Super League. Hopefully a better performance than this. Now for the trip home, there's two choices. It's bus or walk. For me, it will be bus. So... See the fans go, just emptying the stadium, so witness next, see what happens. So, back in Otto, just got a bus from St. Helens, it's an away day to forget, to be honest. Hard to have a reaction on that, I mean, Langtree Park itself, I'd recommend it to anyone. Easy to get to, good facilities, terraces, pretty easy to get up to, so. At the stadium, I would definitely recommend it. The entertainment, the food facilities, quite good. Programs are normally very good. There was no programs with it being a friendly, and don't usually go to the concession stands myself. But so ends another day on the road. So enjoy your rugby, and I'll be back on away days for witness.